a lot of people don't even realize how difficult it is to score that many points. They see all the NBA scores. They see all these guys scoring all these points, but they don't understand how hard it is to score 35 points in your league game, let alone 50, let alone off ball, not dominating the ball, not controlling, not dribbling every play, like let alone on a good team who's in the middle of a, a potential Final Four run. Like this is this is not the bottom barrel where you know you're just out there just shooting it up and you're trying to see what's going on. So I think that 50, and we'll probably harp on it later, I would say it's probably equivalent to 75, 80. That's 85. In the league, at least, I'd say like, because I looked it up. There's only- That's 85. Yeah, there's only three games. 50 and 29 minutes? Yeah, that's crazy. 50 and 29 that's, minutes, That's Eric? crazy. That's crazy. That's 85, bro. That's 85 in the league. <laughs> Easily 85. And I looked, there's only been three games over 75 points in the league. So you got Wood Chamberlain with 100. We don't have video evidence of it, mm-hmm. but you know they say it happened. And then you have Wood Chamberlain at 81. Once again, no video evidence, but uh, I'm sorry, at 75. And then Kobe at 81. So those are the three games over over 75 points. Chamberlain, Chamberlain, Kobe. So just to put that into perspective, once you get to the 80 point mark, I think it's almost impossible. And I, I know r- records are meant to be broken. I just can't see someone scoring 50 in a modern era. Like, like you'd have to hit all your shots. You'd have to be in a position where they can't constantly double you. Um, and you'd have to have your teammates playing for you. And you have to do it within a flow to offense, within a flow to game to win the game. Cause this is the year league. No one's gonna go out there trying to get you a record. Right. Like the main goal is to win. Yeah, no one's gonna get you a record to lose. <laughs> yeah, sure. like so he he was able to get the record within the flow to game, within the offense, within them winning, like all within the team format. Like, like all those things going right and then having the ability to score 50. <laughs> There's not many guys who are even capable of 50 points, let alone doing it within the flow to offense. So I think it's going to stand for quite some time. What I appreciate most is having someone who, like I said, I, I've told you while I've guarded you uh, many times about the respect I have for your offensive talent, but having someone who plays and is a scorer break down how hard it actually is, is what the narrative needs to happen more because it's really, it's really hard to score. Like I know it's 50. And like I said, a lot of, the narrative seeing on like, I didn't see everything on Instagram, but you know, you click and I'll see someone's like, you're a league record of 50. That's it. 50. It's like, that's it. What do you mean? Do you know how hard it is? They don't though. That's the thing. Like people don't know how hard it is. Not to mention like, all right, it's already eight less minutes Mm -hmm. in the game. First of all, take that off rip. You have eight less minutes of stats that you can get. Game flow slow and way slower. Possession numbers down. Already, least amount of shots you get. You the use of fouls. You know, it's not you're not just running around. You know, willy nilly. Defensive um, three seconds. And there's offenses being run. No space. Def- that right there changes the whole game. You can have someone stand in the key the whole time. That impacts everything. And they don't chase two that, for one. I think that's the most. Im- they don't chase two for ones in a Euro lead. That's the, the most. That's the most important rule in Europe that makes it difficult. Defensive three seconds in the key mm-hmm. because. Coming off of a pick and roll and you dribbling and you see the other team's big guy like hi. Yeah. And you have to kick the ball back out, that changes everything. And let's not talk that, that let's not forget. Everything. So usually Europe runs an equal opportunity offense where you're gonna have five or six guys, you know, close to that double figure range or slightly above it, and everybody getting similar shots. Yeah. Like your shot attempts are low. Not like the lead where there's gonna be one guy who's getting twenty plus shots every game, rain, sleet, or snow, no matter right. if you're six for twenty. Or if you're 15 for 20, you're getting your 20 plus <laughs> shots. Yeah. And nothing's gonna happen. Yes. Like you're playing the same amount of minutes. And in your mm-hmm. league, you're having an off day, you're not playing well, they're gonna pull you. That, you might be come sit down. Come sit down. Come sit down. <laughs> you, might, you might not be out there. <laughs> so it's just you might not be a, out it's, there. You're right. It's bro. a different format. So I, I think people don't really understand like, it unless they're very familiar with Europe. You gotta be very and and like with the 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 game plans, like we go into different game plans. I'm sure your coach does the same way and you've been on other teams. It's like, are right, they have a week five, man. So we're going through Motley today. Or yeah. they got a bad pick and roll player. So we're running pick and roll with, with Scotty and, and Sertosh the whole day. Or yeah. we got, they got bad off screen. So we're just running pin downs for everybody else. Like it may not be your day and mm-hmm. your game plan to get the ball. So like, like, and, and that, and, but that's one thing Charles is always good at. He was like, in Euro League, you know it's not the NBA. Like everything averages out. Today, you may get two shots. Hey, that just may be your day today. But the next game, 
you may get 13, 14 shots. And then that's how you balance, you balance it out. So, um, yeah, it's really, like I, like I said, I'm proud that it was me. I don't think it uh, could have happened to a better guy. <laughs> I'm proud of myself <laughs> and, uh, I'm proud of myself for sure, but it's, I think it's really good because it really puts into perspective how hard it is to play in Europe, you know, to, to, for people to see that on the other side of the world and other basketball worlds and spheres and go, Oh, the highest is 50. And you go, yes, yeah. yes, it is. Welcome to the hardest basketball league maybe in the world. So you earned it, buddy. You earned it. That work you put in all the stuff, all the extra time, all the professionalism. Appreciate you earned it. it, man. Yeah, there are like when Nigel hit 50, I had those flashbacks in my memory because, you know, I was following Nigel's uh, journey from from Jalgiris times. And the first few things that came to my mind was like during midseason, just calling his individual coach who was close to Lithuania at that time. Nigel had a few days off. He invited him just to, let's say, improve his shot during the season. I remember we, we had those conversations uh, about uh, methods of improving the shot. He was, you were, I think you were sitting on the chair or, or you were doing some yeah, interesting box, drills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you were doing all those interesting uh, drills. Then I remember like it was a day, not a day off, but uh, a day before the game, uh, probably evening workouts or the other team was actually practicing in Jalgir Arena, EuroLeague team was visiting. And Nigel is there like, it was 10 or 11 at night. There's this classical music in the gym and Nigel is just doing his shots. He's doing his routines. So, you know, when you put all these things in perspective and then you, on top of that, you add all those remarks by his teammates, Matley, Sharas, about his discipline, staying, you know, focused day to day on his improvement. That makes sense. That makes sense. I appreciate it. That's why I said it, it, uh, I deserve it. You know, people say, oh, you know, congratulations. Um, and that's why I, I say what I say, because I know what I've I've been through. I know what I've had to do to 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 get this. Um, people who just found out who Nigel was or who Fenerbahce was, the people who are just now Nigel fans because he plays for Fenner or maybe now Nigel's playing well. So we want to tune in. Um, they don't see everything that you saw and even the stuff before I got to Jalgiris that you haven't seen or the stuff after Jalgiris that you haven't seen, you know, so the early morning shootings, going before practice, uh, coming back at night, um, landing in a different EuroLeague city. When I can go out to dinner, you know, uh, I choose to go to the gym and, and try to and try to prepare myself better. You know, everyone doesn't see that. Like my high school football coach said, everybody, uh, everybody wants to hold and kiss the baby, but nobody wants to see the labor. And the labor is uh, the most important part of everything. Hey, so Eric, gave his suggestion of what 50 point in the EuroLeague game would be equivalent to the NBA game. He, you mentioned like 85 or something, like actually James White it's, did. I, I remember he tweeted like 50 in EuroLeague would be like something between 85 to 100 in the NBA game. What would be your number, Nigel? What would be your calculations? 85. 50, 50 points in a EuroLeague game in 29 minutes is 85 in the NBA, without a doubt. He's like, 29, I played yeah. 29 minutes. Like, do you understand that? It's 29 minutes. I was, was going to say that 80, I checked, 80, 85 range. I was going to say that too. Somewhere around there. I've checked NBA history books. There are only four players in the NBA history who scored 50 plus in less than 30 minutes. Oof. And these guys are Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson did it twice. Joel Embiid, Damian Lillard, and Eric. CJ McCullough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's just like, that's it really what I was thinking about too was because uh, um, I text Charlie, who who um, everyone knows, I, I tell him all the time, trains Clay when I work out in the summer. Like, it's reminded me of when Clay had 60 and three quarters. Mm -hmm. He didn't play the fourth quarter. So, like, he could have very well had 70, 80 mm -hmm. points, you know what I'm saying? And like really, really cemented uh, that scoring performance. And, uh, you know, I say the same thing. Like I, I don't want to take a great moment and, and nitpick at it, but I'm extremely proud of it. But like it was very difficult, but five more minutes. We'd be talking about 60 right now. But like I said, I'm, I'm happy about it. I hope it – 
like I said, selfishly, I hope it you know lasts forever, but I'm still glad to be the first one.